Okay, it's been three days since we made our pineapple beer. Um, it's been fermenting away in a cool place around about 20 degrees down in the cottage. Um, the yeast seems to have done its work and we are ready to now decant the product into some bottles so that we can let it finish its job and then be able to drink it. Okay, the trick is now to get that into the bottle. And you remember I showed you in the previous video that we needed some sterilant. We never used it last time, this is when we're gonna use it. You wanna sterilize everything that this liquid's gonna to touch. So give it a quick spray. This is something that I get from the brewery. It's a, a parasitic acid, but you can clean or sterilize any of these household goods with household bleach. You want to leave at least ten centimeters um, of space in the top of this bottle because. There is still going to be some fermentation taking place, so it will build up some pressure and you don't want um, the liquid to have no place to go. And so by some miracle, the two litres of water that I used has turned into more than two litres of beer. Just add cream. So there you have it, pineapple beer, three ingredients, a couple of days. What we're going to do now is we're going to put these two bottles into a fairly warm kitchen cupboard um, for a couple of days. It will carry on to build up pressure and to start making carbon dioxide. Please be careful if you use glass bottles every day, at least once a day. Just let some of the pressure out, otherwise they will explode. Yeah, mm, that's very nice. This is still fairly sweet, so over the next two or three days it will continue to ferment and the sweetness will disappear, but it's actually quite a nice refreshing drink. A couple of blocks of ice. I'll see you soon for the next project. Hopefully, a lot more complicated.